Okay, the highly contagious and potentially deadly measles disease, it's quickly spreading. As of April 11th, the CDC recorded 555 individual confirmed cases of the measles in 20 states. That's nearly 90 more than people than the week prior. Let's bring in Joanne Manel. We welcome to the show the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases Director, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Is this measles strain getting stronger? No, I don't think it's a question of a measles strain getting stronger. It's a question of the proportion of people in certain communities that are unvaccinated and unprotected, like we're seeing in the outbreak in New York City uh, in the Williamsburg section of Brooklyn, where the uh, enclosed community, the Hasidic Jewish community, has a very low rate of vaccinations. And when you get below a certain critical level and then you introduce measles into that community, you get the kind of outbreak that we're seeing in New York City and in Rockland County, New York. So it has nothing to do with a different kind of measles. It has to do with a lack of vaccination. You know, doctor, you make an important point. I, I, people are scared. Some I've talked to, they said, why should we get on a plane with this outbreak with uh, people not getting vaccinated? What preventative measures should people be taking separate from vaccinations? Well, vaccination is it. I mean, if you have your full component of vaccines, uh, which is, uh, you know, you get vaccinated with a prime when you're 12 to 15 months old and then a booster at four to six years, you're, you're protected with very, very few exceptions. So I don't think people should in any sense feel uh, afraid if they have been vaccinated. When there is an outbreak in a community, obviously you want to stay away from the people who are infected because it's a very, very transmissible disease. It's one of the most contagious viruses that we know which is the reason why we're having these outbreaks in communities that have low level of vaccination. Doctor, the health experts, we, correct us if we're wrong, but health experts, we're seeing reports, they're saying that people born between the years 1957 and 1989 could be at a greater risk of contracting measles because they may have gotten only one dose of, the, of that vaccine. Is that true? Yeah, that, that, that is true uh, because after that period of time, it was very clear that everybody was getting the two doses that I just mentioned. It's interesting, if you were born before 1957, the chances are overwhelming that you actually did get infected with measles, and therefore you're very likely protected for life. But from 57, for several years thereafter, they had not given, or many times they did not give, the double dose, namely the prime and the boost. So what should, people, what should people born during that time period do? Well, first of all, if there's no outbreak, I wouldn't worry about it. But if it turns out that they were and they want to be protected, they could always get a boost from their physician. But we don't recommend that broadly unless you're in the middle of an outbreak and you are exposed to individuals who are infected. For example, in that community that we're talking about in New York City, if there are people in there who feel they're under vaccinated with a single dose, they should likely consult their physician about the possibility of getting a booster Doctor, dose. Doctor, I just want to work in one quick question about that superbug fungus that yeah. we've been covering on the show. What's your take on this story? Well, you know, it's called Candida auris. It, it's, a, it's a Candida uh, fungus, which in general would not give you much trouble, but this one is very resistant to the standard antifungal drugs. And we're having hospital outbreaks because it's very difficult to get rid of once it gets into the environment in a hospital. So the hospital and epidemiologists and in control people are taking this very seriously. Dr. Fauci, thank you so much for your time, sir. Appreciate it. Good to be with you.